Greetings, uh, April 30th, 2016. Three years ago this week, uh, I had uh, two exhibits up in Seattle, one at uh, the M. Rosetta Hunter Gallery at Seattle Central Community College, now called Seattle Central College, and one at the uh, Hillel Center at, uh, near the University of Washington campus, both uh, large exhibits and my first exhibits in Seattle and at the time and around uh, uh, 12 years or so. The last exhibits had been at the uh, Wing Luke Asian Museum in 2007 and at the Fry Art Museum in 2001. So uh, Real Change published a, uh, a front page uh, cover article here, Healing the World with Art, uh, April 24th to 30th issue 2013. It was uh, written by Rosette Royale, uh, then uh, writer and assistant editor at the paper and uh, photographs were taken by a uh, Seattle resident named Wes Sauer. And in the photographs here, I am, uh, well, two of them, I'm seen talking with uh, students at the uh, community college show. And two of the photos have uh, students uh, looking at a uh, work from uh, either the Under the Wings Holocaust art series or from the uh, Sightseeing with Dignity Human Rights art series. As a thanks to uh, Real Change for their great work on behalf of uh, aiding the uh, homeless in and around Seattle, Puget Sound, and Western Washington, I gave them a uh, proof of a woodcut print called Freedom, which we'll see momentarily. Um, and um, I uh, stopped over there today. Um, the, their uh, editor uh, had asked me uh, to recommend uh, how to uh, get it uh, framed uh, inexpensively. And I suggested they call Dan Smith, Inc., the uh, big art supply store, uh, which has grown enormously since I moved to Seattle in 1980. They were in a garage in Ballard at the time. Now they have a huge uh, store and a warehouse and so on uh, down in the uh, south end of the city. And uh, they, uh, he called up, and uh, Dan Smith uh, framed it. And uh, thank you, Dan Smith and Dan Smith staff for uh, framing that. Appreciate it. And uh, thanks again to uh, Real Change for the uh, coverage on my education art. So now the uh, video clips to follow uh, with uh, two staff people and one volunteer who were uh, at uh, the Real Change offices when I stopped in this afternoon. Sorry, April 30th, 2016. I'm in the uh, Real Change offices here. Here's our uh, famous numbers racketeer and columnist, Wes Browning, doctor, PhD in math. We have Neil. You are field organizer. Field organizer for in real the change. Vendor program. Yeah. And what? In the vendor program. And the vendor program. Okay. And there's someone back there too, but uh, looks like she's busy at the moment. Maybe she can come out before. Um, and so I ask them. Uh, so we have to. Th I have to thank um, Dan Smith Inc., the big art supply store, for uh, framing this uh, uh, as a gift for uh, my gift to the print. It's real. You, you met. Daniel Smith. Actually, I've never met him, but I've been shopping there since 1980. Oh. Um, but good. So, uh, to freedom, viva, Siegen 91, e libertad, to real change, for great work on behalf of the homeless, and more. Solidarity Akiva, May, ah, May 1st, 2014. My timing is impeccable here. So it's almost like hours away from you know, May Day. It only took a year to find a stuck. <laughs> so, um, Neil. Wes, how many? What do you see here? Well, I've just uh, I've just been admiring this upstairs as it sat in the editor's office when I walked by. Yeah. I could just imagine a giant wood print being formed on there. It's got that grainy sort of feel. Well, it is a woodcut print. It yeah. was printed from uh, whatever I, uh, piece of um, it was probably uh, plywood that I cut the. Uh, okay. The imagery on. It's beautiful. How many hands do you? Thanks. How many hands do you well, see? Well, I've only seen two. Okay. I've only seen a pair of hands, but okay. I'm not, I'm, there may be more. And I have seen at least three. <laughs> so and the guy has a PhD, PhD in math. That's why I call him a numbers racketeer. I'm not sure, but maybe there's a fourth because it's, I'm not, it's not clear what, where these fingers or whatever they are. Come where, from. where is the third one? Well, so show one me here, where. There's one here. There's one there. And I don't know if this is part of these. If these are part of these, or, or if it's they're sep from a separate hand. So you see two hands in this yeah. upper one area here, here. One here, one here. Huh, interesting. And show me the whole hand here. I'm curious to see how exactly you're seeing it. 
Oh, God, he should be doing mime in the streets of Paris or something. Like <laughs> it's either like that or, like that or it's like this. And it's like this, something like that. Your thumb is down here. Did you see the it's not, it's, 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 The thumb is in here and this, this finger, I don't know where it's coming from. It could be, it could be like that, but that's that's. A, Did you used to do like a shadow poetry when you're like five to ten in Hawaii? No, I wasn't any good at it. By the way, this, this finger is broken, so yeah. that, that's one of the things I have trouble with. Well, actually, but that works well. Hold it works that, well hold, in this case. Hold it up again. It works, it works well in this case. Because yeah, I don't, it doesn't have a, it doesn't have any place else to go. Uh huh. Yeah. Huh. So. Um, and there's a thumb here. Yeah. And I don't know if this finger here is belonging to that thumb. Is it to that thumb? Uh huh. And huh. then there's a hand here. It's like this. Mm -hmm. Right. And then zebra arms. Zebra arms. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, or strange clothing. Or strange clothing. Uh -huh. Yeah. A mime, perhaps. A mind. A mime. A mime's outfit. M I M E. Ah, okay. Huh. Very good. Uh, very good. Um, so you are the you are the one that knows. I am the one. Uh, it sounds like something out of Star Wars <laughs> or out of these like new age religious types, you know, he's the one. So I, I hate to uh, deflate your numerical, um, um, what do you call it, like aggrandizement in numbers, adding more, but there's actually only two hands there oh. per my intent. <laughs> so That's what you Neil, thought you were doing. Neil had it right here, yeah. So, so that hand is like, yeah, those two are, I can't even do that. Curved down like that. It's kind of like 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 that. What does the fact that you can't do it tell you? And then here we have kind of something like that. Right. So it's not necessarily a pair of hands either, because one appears to be much larger. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. But there we have the essence of, of the. Let's have a let's have a good uh, like all power to the people. Uh, yeah. Right. For freedom, you, know, you can re open your hand. Yeah. Right. Right on. Okay, good, good. Get one of those too. Yes, indeed. All right, we're in good shape here. Thank, <laughs> thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> I love it. Okay. I'll get out of the way. So I'll, I'll get in here too. Viva! <laughs> Viva Lord. This is Amy, a volunteer yes. at Real Change, yes. and uh, pleased to meet you. And uh, nice to meet you. so this is the work, Freedom, yeah. which I gave them as a thank you gift for a large article that was about my artwork. Uh, my educational work in the in an issue in 2013. Oh wow! So, um, what do you think of the art? It's wonderful. How long did it take to create, imagine it, and create it? I don't really remember. Uh, it <laughs> I looks like it, a lot of heart went into I it. I did it a long time ago, around yeah. 91. Oh wow! So it, it's much quicker to print them. You know, got to yeah. just roll out ink on a on a whatever on the slab. I roll uh -huh. block printing ink out and clean the brayers and rollers and then. I'll print it and hang it up. You know, it's yeah. a little messy sometimes, but um. Oh, that it's beautiful, and also prints. You know, each one is a little bit different. That's you right. Know, which makes it really that's valuable. Very true with um, woodcuts and linoleum block yeah. print prints. Yeah. And now, Neil was saying he saw three hands. Uh, Wes saw three. Neil saw Wes. two. Because no, Neil, uh, Wes, you know, has a PhD in math. And right. I, I call him a numbers racketeer for fun. <laughs> <laughs> he probably saw something deeper than any of us could really. I saw <laughs> some, uh, yeah. Well, I, there's a lot going on. How many hands do you see, Amy? I see two. Whew, good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know I you're not tripping two. then. <laughs> no. That's great. I, I see two, but but I also see a lot of depth. I feel like there's a lot of meaning in there. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, what kind of meaning? That's always great oh. for viewers. Yeah. Interpretation. I think it feels very powerful to me. That's great. Yeah. Like freedom. Um, steadfast, you know? Steadfast. Steadfast, strong. Strong yeah. and freedom. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, makes me feel happy to look at. Makes you what? <laughs> makes me feel happy to look at. Well, that's great. Yeah. I couldn't do better than yeah. that for a choice of a thank you gift to real change. That's great. Yeah, thank Thanks. you so much. This is, this is wonderful. Thank you. Um, <laughs> this will be on YouTube this oh, evening. Oh, great. Okay. <laughs> Hi, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Amy. Good. Thank you. And uh, my thanks again, not only to uh, Real Change uh, for 
all the good work that they do, their staff, uh, but to uh, Dan, Daniel Smith himself and Dan Smith uh, Inc. Uh, staff for uh, framing the uh, woodcut print. Very much appreciated.